Hey, do you want to know exactly how to set your salary for the business, knowing what you can afford to pay yourself while still making sure that you're saving for taxes so that you don't have a big old surprise at the end of April, making sure that you're able to actually grow the business and scale confidently with all the numbers lining up in your favor. Perfect. You are in the right place. My name is Alex Engar. I'm the Profit Doc. And today we are going to sit down in the office and talk about your business. Okay. I want you to pull up the Profitable Paycheck Predictor. If you haven't gotten it yet, you can find it on this page below. We're going to dive into your numbers a little bit and look at how do we make sure that you're paying what you can afford, not overextending yourself, not underpaying yourself, and making sure that you can line things up so that you can actually pay what you want from the business rather than just being at the mercy of the highs and lows of entrepreneurship. So let's dive in. I want to talk some brief principles here as we're looking at how do you make these decisions. If this is something that you want deep dive help in. That's what we do inside of our CEO Finance Academy with one-on-one, -on -one, uh, pretty intense deep dives into what's going on in your business, helping you understand the numbers, and more importantly, holding you accountable to taking the actions that are required in order for you to have the kind of profit that you want. So let's dive in. We're going to open up this dashboard here and uh, let's share this thing. Where's the share button? Here it is right here. And decide how much can you pay yourself. So you're going to open this up. It's glorious. It bathes me in even more white light because let's be honest, I don't need it. But let's look at uh, what we're going to look at here with these numbers. So there's five real numbers we actually need to look at in your business when you're considering salary. Okay. The first one is revenue. How much are you actually making? Okay. So anything that you sell, any money coming in, revenue, we pile it all in here. Next one is expenses. Obviously your business is going to have expenses and we can't just not spend them. Uh, if we're looking at the profit first methodology, great book by Michael, Mike Michalowicz. It's a, it's a great uh, theory. It's really hard for a lot of businesses to actually practice it. So today we're going to look at, okay, what's the realistic view of your business and where it's at right now? We're going to get uh, a, a deep dive into your taxes or at least surface level dive into your taxes, but give a, a decent estimate for what you might need to expect to pay for taxes. So that's number three is tax. Number four is business growth savings. This is something a lot of business owners don't think about. And this is where we get to set aside money for what we actually want to grow the business with. Things like extra coaching, advertising, uh, new space in the business, whatever it is that you want to do with growth, we save money towards that. And if we don't end up using it, we get to pay ourselves a big old fat bonus every quarter. So much fun. Love those quarterly bonuses. And the last one is payment processing. A lot of people try to lump this into taxes or sorry, into expenses. I just think it's hard to do because what if your income goes way up or drops down? I like to look at it as a percentage of sales. Okay. So let's dive into this calculator real quick and look at what can we predict for your salary. Okay. So the very first thing here up at the top is I'm going to choose my growth savings rate. I recommend that you start at about 5%. Uh, that comes straight from the Profit First book. If you haven't read it, we're going to help you apply principles of it today. Uh, the first one being save money in your business every month. Okay. For whatever reason, we're not taught that at the beginning as an entrepreneur. We're just sort of taught, well, either save everything, uh, but don't pay yourself or just pay yourself out everything and don't save anything. There's usually these polar extremes. Uh, I'm a big fan of you starting off with saving 5% of revenue, okay? 5% of everything that comes in, we're saving and using it later, uh, usually on a quarterly basis, deciding how we're going to use it. But you can go in here, click the drop down, decide where you want to start. I recommend 5%, okay? Payment processing, this is for things like Stripe, for, uh, for PayPal, for the credit card processor that you're using. It's usually around 3%, which is why I recommend starting at 3%, okay? Next, let's look at monthly revenue and expenses. So, I want you to just take a, a gander at an average month for you. What is your average revenue? You're going to pop it in here. For now, we're saying, okay, I'm making $25,000 in revenue. Okay, so top line, like what's all the money coming into your business? Next, monthly expenses. So this is where a lot of business owners have no clue. If that's you, check yourself here for a minute. Do you know how much you're spending on a monthly basis? Uh, do you even know a ballpark? Uh, a lot of people don't, and they're not keeping track of things, and expenses just start to rack up. This is such an interesting place, and we'll see how this affects our paycheck here in just a minute. Quick, uh, I guess, house rules on this thing. Don't change any, uh, any numbers that aren't in color. Okay, so we can only change the things up here in blue and these two here in yellow. Everything else is formula based and you don't want to screw with the formulas. Okay, they all reference each other and everything. Yes, I want you to uh, be able to see all these numbers without having to do any math. It's the whole point of this. Okay, so you're going to put in revenue, you're going to put expenses, you're going to check business growth savings and payment processing and boom, out of the bottom spits the paycheck you can afford. So Alex, how are you calculating this? And even more importantly, why are you doing it this way? So 
this is looking at what can your business actually afford right now? I'm not saying this is what you should be paying yourself. I'm not saying it's what you could be paying yourself because maybe your numbers look even better. Uh, but this is just based off saving 5%, making sure we're saving for taxes still. Uh, by the way, I'm estimating at about a 30% tax savings. So we're, we're trying to say uh, after my expenses, the revenue minus expenses, the profit that's left over from that, 30% of that gets saved for taxes, okay? It's a good guesstimate. I have an asterisk here because this is not financial advice. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. And you should talk to a tax professional as you're making these decisions. If you don't know how to ask these questions, you don't feel comfortable talking to your tax professional, uh, maybe that's a sign that you should get some help with these things, okay? Um, but next, we've got uh, these all these numbers stacking up here into what our paycheck can be, okay? I recommend based off your numbers, and it's always going to be specific to the kind of business that you have and where you're at revenue-wise. Uh, if you're at a spot where this is cutting it tight for you, let's say you only have 18,000 of income and you can only pay yourself 3,400 uh, and you're like, I want to pay that whole thing out every month. Well, it's hard to set a salary for yourself when you're bumping right up to the edge of what you can quote unquote afford. So if you're looking at really setting a salary, that's when we change, adjust things a little bit and look at, well, what can I afford every month? And that's the kind of thing that we do inside of CEO Finance Academy is get really clear on where are your numbers really at. One of the biggest things that we see when entrepreneurs come to us to work on organizing their finances is a real lack of clarity around what's actually going out of the business and a lot of expenses oftentimes that aren't actually necessary to running the business. They're just there because it was a software that somebody one time promoted and they told you that you needed it. And so you bought it, or there was a subscription to some automation service that you maybe used once and aren't actually using anymore. Or sometimes it's employees that you're actually overpaying or, uh, or they're getting paid for hours that they don't actually need to. And so we can make some adjustments in the expenses. And I want you to just see the magic of this real quick. Uh, if I go from 11,000 to say 8,000 and wow, eight, let's not do that. <laughs> we have a direct impact on the paycheck that you can afford. So as a principle here, it's really important that you understand every dollar that's going out of your business is equal to a dollar going out of your personal paycheck. Let that sink in for just a minute. If you're running a business that isn't paying you what you want it to, then you really need to look at, am I running as lean as I could or should be? If we're in the startup phase of our business, which really honestly is anywhere from zero to probably 20K a month, if you're running a business that is so lean that you can't pay yourself what you need to survive, you absolutely need to look at how can I bring down expenses and increase profitability? And if you're not sure how to do that, again, that's what we might be able to help you with. And, uh, and I want to invite you to really critically think, why is the business the way it is right now? And all the decisions that you've made up to this point have given you the numbers that you've got. And so if you're happy with it, I'm so glad for you. I can't wait uh, for all the great things coming. But if you're not very happy with where it's at, cool. Maybe it's time to get a little bit of a checkup and see why are things not going the way I want them to. Where are the trends going? Is my income trending up that I'm paying myself? Is it trending down? Is it flatlined? And, uh, and this is exactly what we help people with. If you want uh, some one-on-one -on -one guidance with this stuff and to see, hey, what is it that you guys do? You can click this link down here below and book a finance clarity call with us where we're going to sit down together one-on-one -on -one and look at uh, where is it that, uh, that the business is really at financially in a no judgment kind of way. Okay, and this is coming from business owners who do this stuff day in and day out. Uh, not only do we look at the numbers, but we run our own business and we have for years uh, been very specific about how we pay ourselves, setting salary so that we can actually have the consistency. And that consistency is what allowed us to bring my wife home, for example, from working. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I hope that now that you see this, there's real power in, in understanding your numbers. And if you're at a place where you don't yet understand them, uh, if, especially if you're really starting to make money, if you feel like, yeah, I've started to get some marketing and sales dialed in. Uh, if you're above the 10K a month plus range, it's really time to start uh, dialing in on understanding numbers in your business, getting things organized, setting up systems around your finances, and most importantly, holding yourself accountable to the actions that will result in consistency in your business. Okay. Hope this short training was useful. And, uh, and this is a great way to come check in on your numbers 
uh, on a regular basis and see, cool, where am I at? What can I afford to pay myself? Again, if you want help with this stuff, uh, let's book a call, talk about your situation and see if we can't help you get to the salary that you ultimately want for yourself, given this great business that you're running. Cool. Thanks for being here. See you on a call potentially, or if not, we'll see you around. I'm sure we'll see you. Bye, y'all.